Hey everyone, so in this video, we're gonna look at computer vision within Microsoft Cognitive Services, and specifically how we can use it to extract text out of images. So if you haven't already, it's worth checking out the computer vision documentation. Um, there are live interactive demos where you can see a number of the API's capabilities from tagging images based on their content. And we have other examples here where we have an image of some handwriting and being able to grab the text. But in this specific demo, we're going to be focusing on its optical character recognition or OCR capabilities. Um, you can see here an example that I've posted on my blog. Um, in this specific example, I had bank statements that were in form of PDF, which I had to do a pre-step in order to convert each page of the PDF into an image. But in this demo, we're going to skip straight to the images that we have on hand and use some Python script, tap into the computer vision API, and then export all that text into a, into a file. So the first thing that we need to do is log on to the Azure portal and we're going to create a computer vision API resource. So if we search the marketplace for computer vision API, click on create, give our resource a name. I'm going to leave it in the default West US region. In terms of the tiers, there is a free tier which you can get away with with uh, 20 calls per minute and 5,000 calls per month. So if you need more than that, obviously, um, you'll need to upgrade to a pay tier. And we'll assign our resource group and click Create. So once that resource has been successfully deployed, we can jump into VS Code and start to look at how we're gonna make um, set up our environment. So in this case, I'm using Python. The computer vision API itself is just a HTTP endpoint, so you can use any language, but I'm gonna show how we can do it in specifically Python 3. So to set up our virtual environment, we'll say we wanna set up one specifically for Python 3. And the only dependency um, that we have for this sample code is the request library. So once that is done, we'll activate and do a pip install on requests. So that's it, we've activated our virtual environment and the only other directory that I have is uh, one with a subfolder called images. So here's a sample image that we're going to convert into text once we've processed it through. Okay, so next up we're gonna create our Python file. So this is called handler.py. And rather than writing the code manually, if you go over to the blog post, you can copy and paste the code. Okay, so there are just four things that we would need to update. Um, our API key, which we'll get from the Azure portal as well as the endpoint. The directory, in this case, within images, I have my image, so or we could have multiple images, so we'll just update the directory. And the last thing is the uh, file name that ends with, so in this case, rather than jpeg, I've got jpg. Okay, so let's get the endpoint and the API key. To do that, we need to jump back over to the Azure portal, go to our resource. You can see under overview, you can get the endpoint. Uh, we can copy paste that. So that's the endpoint for the uh, vision cognitive services, but we want to tap in specifically into the OCR capability. So you'll need us add slash OCR at the end. And the last bit that we need is the actual API key itself. So under keys, you can copy the key. Okay, so I've pasted that and I'll just scroll down. So the flow is pretty simple. Um, our main call is our handler. Our handler will loop through each file in the directory, which is images. In this case, there's only one image. Um, it looks for JPEGs. Then it asks to get the text from the computer vision API. So this is where we actually make our um, HTTP call. We set up our header, which includes our API key. 
Um, in terms of parameters, there's not m too much that you, you can or, or need to tune. Um, basically, we're just saying that the language, we already know that it, the language of the image is going to be in English, but you can put that to something like UNK if you don't know what the language is. And that doesn't need to detect the orientation because we're feeding it within the, you know, it's in the right orientation already. So um, once we have the header and the params, the payload itself will be the image. And then we'll send that over to the computer vision API and that response will come back in a JSON format. Once we've got the response, pass text will loop through the JSON, which has regions and lines and words. Um, and we'll export all of that out into output, output.txt. So let's run our code. And that's it. So we, we can open our sign on one side and our output. Okay, so there you, there you have it. So caution, this sign, sharp edges, do not touch the edges of this sign, do not enter, also the bridge is out ahead. So that's pretty much it. That's how you convert um, images to text using the computer vision API.